what happened to my warm weather this ugh, actually is kind of nice it is it's cold it got cold last night it got down upper 40s it's in the 50s right now not i don't think we're gonna get out of the 50s actually today but uh weekend looks good we're gonna rebound we're gonna rebound just in time for easter speaking of easter easter is definitely not canceled but uh easter looks to get spicy weather wise around here uh we got some 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 serious weather that's kind of i don't know it's kind of a sleeper mode it doesn't look like it's it's gonna hit on the normal stuff but all the other models show it's gonna hit so could have some spicy weather sunday night into monday uh we're talking like tornadoes in the southern valley of tennessee so we'll see how that goes see how everything shapes up as for right now it is a beautiful day got a drip system to put in the uh, garden that's that's what we're getting more more garden stuff today that's all i got it's not, honestly that's all i got right now That is the best thing you can ever find in your mailbox. Just puts a smile on my face. Oh, I'm so excited right now. Atomic Orca. I have heard so much good stuff about this one. I'm so excited to grind this one. Ready for Atomic Orca? I am, because everyone we've had so far has been really good. This, though. This! Oh. I think Chainsaw has been my favorite. Yeah, Chainsaw was definitely one of my favorites. Where's the little... the tasting card? Oh, Usually card. you get a little card in here and it, like, <clears throat> describes it. I was gonna tell y'all what it was all about because I don't remember the uh, flavors and the aromas, but uh, yeah, it's good stuff. So I officially just broke my GoPro handle. This has got to be close to eight years old, I'd say. Um, we officially just broke it into pieces. And that was my bad because I threw it on the ground. So I'm gonna try try to salvage this. I took that piece off and. I think we're just gonna put the GoPro on this piece and won't be as tall as it once is if you want to extend it, but it still does the job. All right, now it's gonna have to work. Um, it's gonna have to work. It's interesting because it's not, it's not that I'm cheap, right? It's not that, that uh, it's not that I don't want to buy things, but when I grew up, I never had things. Like we didn't have money at all and I didn't get to have nice things. So now when I do buy things, I try to make them last as long as I can. Um, Cause if there's a will, there's a way we can make it last and even better. Cause then I can spend money on other things. I will wear pairs of shoes until they have holes in them and you can no longer wear them anymore. I will keep gluing and taping my sunglasses back together as long as I, I have to. Well, why not? Cause I bought it and I'm gonna make it last as long as I can before I gotta spend some money on something else. So today we have the drip system. We are gonna be putting the drip system in to uh, hopefully take away the hose, the need for the hose, be able to water these, put them on a timer and then I won't have to worry about it. Easy peasy. So before I get too crazy with this layout, I think I should probably just set up one or two of them and turn it on and see how these things are gonna spray. These are from Amazon, probably, probably cheap. So who knows if these are gonna do what I need them to do. I'm gonna hook up a couple of them here and just uh, go for it and see what, see how these things spray and what they end up turning out to do. And then we can kind of go from there. Maybe this kit ain't gonna work. The drip line and stuff I've had before is always like the harder plastic. You can actually like just poke into it and then the leader hose comes off of it. This is like a really rubbery, soft plastic. So I don't know if this is gonna work. Let's see. Yeah, this is already feeling like rinky dink plastic. 
this thing. This. As long as this is closed. One. We'll just put it on this open one so it doesn't spray everywhere. Okay. That actually sprays pretty good. These ones, I figure, yeah. So those are just gonna do that and spray in a little area. So those ones, these ones kind of suck. Those ones might do okay down here if we put a couple of those in. Just soak the area for the onions. And those ones will be better for the veggies up there. All right, that works. I can live with those. We'll see how, how well this thing stays together. But yeah, look, look at this. Cheap old plastic. Good old Amazon. Amazon Prime. Amazon cheap. What do you think, Marks? All right, so I ran ran the sprinklers, the little drip system. Not that impressed with it. Um, it's pretty cheap, um, but that's what you get from Amazon, really. Um, we don't have a ton of water pressure, obviously, because we're on the well. I mean, you get a decent amount, enough for like inside the house and stuff, but once it comes outside, by the time it comes all the way around to the garage and everything else, we don't have that much. So, that may not work. I may just have to stick with a hand, handheld watering or just set up a little rotating sprinkler inside, which is what I might do. Uh, but in the meantime, we finished up uh, this little thing for the pig, had a ton of extra wood left over, so built a little thing for her hay to go in so it was no longer under the stairs. So now she's got a little thing for her hay, so we can just keep giving it to her, and uh, she's good to go. That's it, really. Chicks are doing good. Chicks, you good today? That's about it, really. Man, this whole stuck to my yard thing seems like day is the same day, but he's keeping busy, not going crazy yet.